We are back to continue with our Hogwarts Legacy. Last time we went into the uh, forbidden section of the library, the restricted <laughs> section, some might say, and now it's time to return to Professor Fig. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. It's Fair enough. pretty easy. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Rebellion. Definitely gonna need to find out what these sloth guys do later. A great nightcap, okay. I need to go and sell some of these. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Okay, well, I'm going to teleport somewhere first. Over to Hogsmeade. I'm going to go ahead. Which shop do I want to go to? Probably this one. Meet, here I come. I have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Yes, ma'am. This is the world map 
most of the map is covered by fog. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. This is the Hamlet Lover's Hog Field. Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, blue flames, side quests, and collectibles. As you explore, you will remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like Hamlet's Dungeons, Bandit Camps, and many other locations. That's cool. I didn't expect that. And if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Let's go ahead and sell. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business so. with you. So everything the price, and that is not as good as I have. Of course, the gray nightcap is insanely good. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Face wear. <laughs> Gotta wear that. Headwear is locked to level 10. Sixteen is a lot higher than I have. And no new outfits. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. In gothic attire. Ten, fifteen. Five hundred. Right, thirteen. This is three seventy five or a fifteen. That's probably best then. What does this look like? I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Let's go ahead and purchase. You won't be disappointed. Oh, That's a glamour act promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Nice. Stop by whenever you're about. Uh, there was a thing over here. I have not moved it yet. Told you not to go down that path. What are you up to now? And then can I just teleport to this thing? No, I must have. Those are some interesting sounds. That's what I thought. Okay. over here. What kind of enemies do we got? They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. Let me 
The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Not sure. I'd like to have a broom or something, or a mount, but I'll stick to running for now, and then once I do one of the other main quests, I will surely get it, get it there. I'm almost there. Pumpkins. What's in this house? Hello. Don't mind me. Is that all? Rebellion. Looks like that's it. There's a very small house. What's down here? I should investigate. I should investigate. Revelio. Periwinkle tailcoat. Sounds nifty. Let's take a peek. is better. I really hate these glasses that I'm forced to wear right now.
It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Nope. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I love that name, Matabili land. But this could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm being on my guard. What's going on here? What is going on here? Um, I'm gonna steal... Attempt to steal some belongings first. What do you have for me? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Oh, working world for a hundred? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. Spell damage, defense, I'm good. I hope to see you again sometime. It's like a place right out of a storybook. There's a lot going on in here. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. What have we got over here? They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a dog shit nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid back! Section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may have valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses, and weaknesses to certain spells. Oh, I think it's collections. This one. 
you. Among the clicker of Rockwood's agencies, witches will surprise their opponents with back-to-back -back attacks. Their powerful reductor curse cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting that cast with a severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. Do I have a severing charm? Whatever, I just can't block. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. You take this to resolve my dead body. Tell them to find himself. No, I pressed the wrong button. I'm still alive. Perish. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. I'm so close to Hogwarts. Well, those two that I bought worked out pretty well. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rockwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What shall I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Merlin's 
beard. What a day! I can hardly believe it. Revelio. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Time to do this here as cyclists. Some assistance. Hello. Hello. Uh, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Just what? northeast. What? Oh, interesting. Leech juice. <laughs> the 
This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Time to search. Some spectacles. A hat. This river is loaded. The lake. A scar. It's going to be the last one I'm looking at. And it is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. So she just must not be able to swim if she can't do that right. Grace, I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? No. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. Let's take a peek at the gear I just got. New face wear is better. You like those. Headwear. I have the nightcap now for 20. I also have this for 20. So I should do nightcap. and sell this neckwear hmm. I do like that Legendary cape, let's go. Mm. Legendary Merlin says increased storage. So I'm definitely gonna need to do those. Quests, I have so many. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. 
Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. What do you have in store for me this time? Is there another? There must be another. It's right there. Another, another. There's more. Why is there so many? This looks intriguing. Where's the other? Dark mongrel? Oh my god, I'm stupid. These murder trials won't get the best of me. Okay, storage space. I would very much like to have. Why did I open quests for that? An encampment. 
This must be it. Oh, really? Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Let me open. Good thing he didn't notice. Let me open. Back here. One person. I have challenges. Steal a crossbow bolt and then keep two enemies airborne for five seconds. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Okay. Bro. Since before you were born, my friends, oh, you think you're so clever. Not like running out of friends when I'm in combat. Incendio. I'm guessing the fire right now. Incendio. Let me open. That doesn't make sense. Where is this column? Enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Revelio. Rebellion. Oh. 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 
Thanks on Express. Seven. This time, Marlin. You've been paying attention in defense against the dark after, I see. Okay, now I'm not puzzled as this. Akio! Come here. Let me also. So there's gotta be something like Accio. this. Incendium. But I'm not seeing it. So let me kill this guy just in case. Let me also. Accio. Incendium. That was quite something. There's that. And another one over here. What's this? Oh, I see. I figured out what to do. Rebellion. Oh. I was supposed to use those ones up here. Whatever. That means that there's another pile somewhere that I must find. Balls at. Huh. 
gotta be here somewhere. Just keep my wand up in case I accidentally target something. Rebellion. Okay, whatever, I'll just figure that out later. Once I get a way to fly, I will be back over here. Too many. And obviously, it wasn't enough. Good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. No trouble. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know. You've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Sure. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Oh, you have a Why don't you have a little peruse? Chinese chomping cabbage? There we are then. That'll do nicely, I'm sure. Be sure to visit me again, won't you? Alright, but that is where I will end this episode. So I will see you next time. Farewell.